the most insane story of the week. I didn't even uh, touch on it. I, I, I'm, I'm and partly because it was so mind boggling. I think it was the most insane story of the week. And it wasn't, uh, it didn't, and didn't have to do with anything um, uh, political, it was sexual. It was uh, the, uh, you know, Sean Combs or uh, P. Diddy or Puff Daddy or Puff Adder or whatever the fuck his next name change was. He, he is uh, basically, um, you know, charged with uh, crimes against humanity. I mean, I, I've never heard, I mean, you know, look at what he was doing. I'm listening the other morning and literally my brain is going, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, is you know, we, we all have uh, our sexual fantasies, but this is, you, you don't, uh, you kind of go, Okay, I'm going to put that in a storage room somewhere. Uh, he brought all of it out on a level that I never fucking imagined or that anybody would need to get off. And uh, my brain couldn't uh, deal with it. I mean, it literally was, uh, this is uh, sexual insanity. All right? I've never heard the word sexual racketeering. There was sexual kidnapping. There was all sorts. I mean, it's an extraordinary. This is, all right, just simply this. Okay? If you have a difficulty understanding why we have to tax the wealthy, this is the prime example. I mean, you say, well, you know, they should be able to buy all the houses they want and everything and all the land, and they should be able to get all their money to be able to kind of uh, pay. What? This, this, this is when you have too much money, when you can basically live out a fantasy that is criminal. And get away from it for, for 16 years. Now they uh, they won't let him out on bail. They, but I can't even imagine how deep the shit is that they won't let him. They, they're not letting him out. I mean, twice he's appealed for bail. And uh, they, they think he's a flight risk. I, God knows what else they think he is. So now he's in a, uh, apparently in a cell in Brooklyn. Oh, how the mighty, of, I, I mean, the, I'll read just a bit of this, and then we're going to wrap up. Uh, and I, I thought in case you missed it, I, I mean, it is, this is the, the respite we get. The respite we get is this, which was just, I'm kind of going, this, it's already too much what we go through on a daily basis. Just the, just the commercials alone on television for drugs, we don't even know what they are. But that's another story. I'm sorry about that. A grand jury indicted rapper and music mogul, Sean Diddy Combs, on charges of racketeering, conspiracy, whatever the fuck that is, and sex trafficking, we know what that is, according to a federal document unsealed Tuesday. The charge, 16 years of allegations and decades of rumors that Combs used, to, used his power to physically and sexually abuse women on a level that is staggering. The indictment accuses Combs, here we go, of using his lifestyle media and music company. He's got a lifestyle company. Who, what the fuck is a lifestyle company? You want to live like me? I have more money, obviously, than, you know, God. And I'm going to have a lifestyle. I'm going to show you how to live a lifestyle. Are you shitting? You can, you, who can afford it? Um, to help orchestrate uh, these companies, he, he used them to help orchestrate a widespread criminal enterprise. Participants in these criminal activities included Combs Security, personal assistants, and staff, according to the indictment. These associates helped Combs abuse, threaten, and coerce women and others to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct, the court filing alleges. The, the crimes Combs and his associates are accused of committing and covering up include sex, trafficking, narcotics distribution, arson, 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 along with everything else, and kidnapping. Many of these alleged crimes took place at illegal sex parties that Combs referred to as freak-offs. During these parties, Combs allegedly threw objects at the victims and dragged them by the hair. And that's nothing. Comparatively to his associates allegedly booked hotel suites, recruited male sex workers, distributed narcotics, including cocaine, methamphetamine, and oxycodone,
to coerce party goers into sex. His staff allegedly monitored and arranged travel for victims and scheduled the delivery of IV fluids to help victims recover from the intensive drug use and physical exertion, exertion on his orders. The, he, he's a staff member. He ordered them to do this. These parties were also taped, and Combs used the footage to pressure his victims to stay silent. And, and, and it goes on. I can't. That's enough. You don't need that. What else do you need? Huh? You're right. You need a distraction from the madness. There's more madness. Huh? If you, really, literally. Unbelievable. How do you get away with that for more than a week? You think, I, I, I don't know. Nobody speaks up. Nobody goes, hey, uh, you're hiring sex workers. Then you're just getting women and bringing them in for the set. I, for the for his pleasure. But it's the Caligula. It's like, it's like he's Caligula. You know, I'm the emperor and uh, bring them in. And for my entertainment, I shall watch what. And that got him off. I my my brain is 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 waffled. Baffled, broken, busted. Um, I, I listened to it the other day. I just could share a portion of it with you now. And we are, we just got to get a grip. You know, 16 years he's pulling this off. Nobody noticed. Nobody said, hey, gee, what if he didn't say to anybody, you know, you want to come see this this week? I mean, and they had guns in the room to make sure that they kept performing. I didn't even get to that. And that's enough of that. All right? Too much money. It's called too much money. All right? A demented mind with too much money. Wow. I am appalled. In conclusion, one would think that after uh, 16 years, okay, that during that time, P. Diddy, Puff Adder would, uh, at some point, is he looked around and thought, wow, it takes this many people gathered together, uh, working in, in consort uh, in order for me to get a boner? And if that didn't strike him, just the amount of money he was spending. At some point during the 16 years, he might look at the bill and go, man, that's an expensive boner. Woo, that's too much, okay? that at some point you think that might cross his mind and that he might say to himself, gee, maybe I need professional help.